All right, we're at uh, chapter 24, electric potential. It's got uh, six uh, sections, so let's uh, get started. I'm gonna dismiss uh, my image so it doesn't interfere with the, uh, uh, with the uh, lecture. Uh, it starts off with a, uh, an image of a lightning strike and the, uh, um, the storyline says that the person um, looking at the, um, look at the lightning knows that it has to do with voltage uh, he knows that there's a high voltage difference, but he doesn't know what voltage is. And that's what we're going to learn in this section. Uh, so we'll, let's start off with a, um, a parallel plate with one plate charged positive and the other plate charged negative. Um, and if you place a, a positive charge there, it'll, there'll be a force that forces the positive charge away from the po positive plate and towards the negative plate plate. Um, and since there's a movement and there's force, we're, it's going to do work. So work is equal to uh, the uh, electric force dot ds, which is the electric force is QE. So it's QE dot ds. So the, um, the work is equal to the change in potential energy. Uh, so the this du is equal to the minus uh, work internal, which is equal to the minus Q E dot D S the little bit of, um, uh, distance. So if we, uh, Delta U, the change in potential energy, the change in electric potential is equal to minus Q, the integral of A to B of E dot D S. Uh, and this Delta U is, uh, we call this, uh, uh this, uh, difference in electric potential we call uh, volts. And it's so it's UE divided by Q. Uh, so delta V is equal to delta U divided by Q. Uh, and that's equal to the minus the integral from A to B of E dot DS. Um, and work is equal to uh, uh, Q delta V. Uh, and one volt is equal to, it's defined as one joule per coulomb. Uh, and we also learn, let's see where my notes. Um, we'll also learn that one Newton per Coulomb is equal to uh, one volt per meter. So that's another, uh, oh, no, there it is. So one Newton per Coulomb is equal to one volt per meter. Uh, joules is Newton meters. So one volt equals one Newton meter per Coulomb. Uh, and you take the meter to the other side, you get one Newton per Coulomb equals one volt per meter. The electric field is a measure of the rate of change of the electric potential with respect to position. Um, the, uh, the, the electric field is a measure of the rate of change of the electric potential with, with respect to position. Now we have a unit of, of uh, um, energy called the electron volt. One electron volt is the, uh, the electron the charge on electron is 1.60218 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs times one volt. It gives you 1.602, uh, 60218 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. So the, uh, the electron volt is a, um, it's a, uh, it's a unit of energy. And so it's not, uh, it's not potential. It's unit of energy. The, the, uh, Electron beam from a dental x-ray machine may have a speed of um, 1.4 times 10 to the eight meters per second. So this speed corresponds to a kinetic energy of 1.1 times 10 to the minus 14 joules, uh, which is equivalent to 6.7 times 10 to the four electron volts. Um, so <clears throat> there's a, uh, you'll, you'll see electron volts um, in, in, uh, you see like a wall chart of the elementary particles, you'll see the mass uh, uh, measured in uh, electron volts. Okay, time for a quick quiz. Uh, in the figure, uh, two points A and B are located within a region in which there is an electric field. 
how would you describe the potential difference delta V equals VB minus uh, VA, uh, VB minus VA? Um, well, it's negative because it's, uh, it's increasing, it's increasing this way. So from B to A, it's negative. Um, Okay, in the figure, two points A and B are located within the region which there is an electric field. How would you describe the change in potential energy of the charge field system for this uh, process? Um, in, in this case, it's positive. All right, and that's the end of section 24.1.